the rallies for change and justice both in Minneapolis and across the state are continuing following the shooting of Locke. Yeah, officials say that they are hearing the demands with some pushing for changes to those no-knock warrant policies. Andrea Lyon is here with the latest on the rally and the promises Andrea being made in Minneapolis. Well, families of other local men killed in police shootings are voicing their outrage over Amir Locke's death, demanding accountability from both lawmakers and police officers. We are too impacted. We are re-traumatized every time this happens, every time we have to look on the news and see another person get murdered. As we know in our hearts, our loved ones was murdered and taken away from us here in this state. As we know, Amir Locke was shot and killed while SWAT teams were executing a no-knock warrant. Police have admitted Locke was not listed in that warrant, and as a result, the Minneapolis mayor and city leaders are now going over no-knock policies. This includes opening an internal special review of no-knock policies in Minneapolis. Office of Police Conduct will have access to all MPD records in order to make the best decisions going forward, and the city is partnering with the group Campaign Zero in in this process, Campaign Zero has worked with six states following Breonna Taylor's death in Louisville, working to limit no-knock raids across the country. The police do not need these raids to keep communities safe. There are a lot of places that do not have no-knock raids and don't have no-knock warrants, uh, and safety is fine. Now, some of those cities that now restrict no-knock warrants include Birmingham, St. Louis, and Pittsburgh. Here at home, the Minneapolis mayor did impose a temporary ban on no-knock warrants after Locke's death. He says this means the Minneapolis Police Department will not be able to ask for or execute a no-knock warrant. That will remain in place until new policies are passed. Megan and Chris. Okay.